Well, Nick Saban has added another coach to his staff, and this time it's Ken Wisenhunt, and we need to talk about it. But if you haven't, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And by doing so, it greatly helps out my channel and helps me grow as a content creator. Well, Nick Saban has added, like I said, Ken Wisenhunt to his staff. Uh, Nick Saban is doing business, guys. Uh, he's getting a lot of guys in that uh, no nonsense type guys, you know, um, guys that really get at you. And um, he's surrounding himself with a lot of coaching experience. And I'm going to just give you the background on, on Ken Wisenhunt. You know, uh, he was a former Chargers, you know, offensive coordinator and the Steelers offensive coordinator. So he has NFL experience. And um, he also was the head coach for the Tennessee Titans and the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, really, really good, you know, background. Uh, he won a Heisman. I mean, not Heisman. Uh, he won a Super Bowl, I'm sorry, and with the Steelers back in 2005 as the offensive coordinator. And as a head coach, he got the Arizona Cardinals to a Super Bowl 43 and lost to the Steelers that year. But uh, he's a Georgia guy. Um, he played for Georgia Tech, but has a lot of wisdom, guys. Uh, very, very uh he helped, you know, he also came from Penn State as well. And um, he helped Sean Clifford over there, guys. Uh, Penn State last season uh, looked really, really good offensively. You know, uh, he definitely helped. You know, he was an analyst over there, and he helped, you know, Penn State, you know, with the game plan. And anytime you have a coach, you know, that's on your staff, especially an analyst or, you know, on any capacity of being on a team, you kind of can count them as, you know, coordinators as well. You know, they help with the game plan and, uh, they get a ideas to the coach, you know, and um, Nick Saban currently has a lot of guys around him uh, that's assisting him. And um, Nick Saban mean, mean business, guys. Uh, you know, Wisen, uh, Wisen Hunt, he has a lot of uh, background as far as coaching. Um, he was a position coach working with the tight ends with the Cleveland uh, Browns and then Baltimore Ravens as well in college ranks. As Vanderbilt, so he's been at Vanderbilt, he's been at Penn State, uh, he's been in the NFL with the Titans, the Cardinals, um, the Chargers, the Steelers, everywhere. Like he's been everywhere in college football, so he has a wealth of knowledge. And um, him being on the staff, like I said, we got uh, Tony Reese as as an offensive coordinator, but uh, you got guys like you know Ken Wisenhunt coming in and um, joining the staff. Nick Saban is getting back to hard-nosed football, guys, and uh, we should be excited about that. You know, um, we've been saying for a while that, you know, the Alabama team hasn't been tough. You know, it seems like the coordinators weren't really chewing up the players on the sidelines and stuff like that. But uh, Nick Saban seems like he's going back to the draw, drawing board, and uh, he bringing in a lot of wealth and knowledge. Like I said, having Kevin Steele, a guy that, you know, came with him and, uh, 2007 as the f defensive coordinator, a hard-nosed guy. Tommy Reese, even though he's young, hard-nosed guy. You know, he's bringing that back. Having uh, Austin Armstrong to help Kevin Steele, you know, the young guy helping with the older guy, you know. Ke uh, Tommy Reese helping out, you know. Uh, Eric Wolford on the O-line, you know. Then also, he got, like I said, the other guys that he have on the staff with him, like I said, he got Ken Weisenheim, he just hired him. He also has Joe Pendry. That name should be familiar for Alabama fans. He was with Alabama as the O-line coach back in 2000. I think it was 2007 to 2010, if I'm not mistaken. We remember those O-lines, man. Uh, Alabama had really, really good O-lines when Joe Pendry was there. A uh, very, very good guy. Uh, he's old. He's up there in age, but uh, he's going to bring that wealth of knowledge. Like I said, him bouncing you know, ideas off of Eric Wolford, that's going to be huge for Alabama. Um he also has Todd Watson, and he also has Sal Sinceri. Sal Sinceri was our uh, outside linebackers coach at one point, and he was a no-nonsense guy. You know, I personally credit him, you know, to getting, you know, Will Anderson, you know, uh, helping him out, you know, uh, when he was the off, uh, outside linebackers coach. Really, really good, hard-nosed guys. Doesn't play, Sal doesn't play. And um, Sal was moved to, if I'm not mistaken, he was moved to a like a transfer portal like position where he, you know, he just watches the transfer portal and see, you know, I guess he checks up on guys that might be in the portal or uh, potential players that want to go into the portal. But, uh, you know, it makes sense, you know, uh, what Nick Saban is doing. 
Uh, he's getting back to running the ball, guys, getting back tough, you know, establishing the run, uh, attacking on defense. You know, this is a huge hire in my opinion. Like I said, a guy with a lot of wealth of knowledge and just surrounding himself with a lot of knowledge. Also mixing in youth as well. So what do you guys think? Do you think this is a, a huge pickup for Alabama? You let me know in the comment section. And once again, guys, if you haven't, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'll definitely be back with more college football content. Thanks, guys, and roll tide.